Can a custom subwoofer box make a cheap subwoofer sound good? Well, in the next couple of minutes, we're gonna find this out. So I have this Logitech Z623, and it's honestly a pretty cheap subwoofer, as I got the whole speaker system for less than $100. So for the subwoofer itself, it's 120 watts RMS, it's using a seven inch driver, but the box that it came with, I mean, it is pretty all right. It does get decently loud, but the main problem with the box is that it really struggles with hitting low notes. Anything below 35 hertz, it's gonna start struggling. And if the volume is too high, then the subwoofer is gonna bottom out pretty easily. Easily. and anything under 30 hertz is almost non-existent at least in the room that i'm in right now if i use it in a smaller room then those lower notes will get louder but it's still not good enough so we're designing and building a custom subwoofer box that is actually made to play low perform better than a stock subwoofer box i'm not sure but first i have to go get the subwoofer box So the enclosure that I have is a custom subwoofer box that is about one and a half cubic feet and it's tuned to 28 hertz. So this enclosure is definitely a bit bigger than a stock enclosure that came with the Logitech, but it's also tuned a lot lower too. As I'd guess that the stock enclosure is probably tuned somewhere in the 40s. Do you guys think that this subwoofer enclosure will perform better than the stock one? Let me know down below in the comments of what you guys think. So first I'll test out the stock enclosure and then I'll put the subwoofer in the custom enclosure and then we'll see if it's an improvement. So first let's test out that stock enclosure.
So I just finished the test and I hope it showed in the video. I hope you guys were able to hear a difference, but the custom enclosure was actually quite a bit better. As for one, it flattened out the frequency response a little bit more, definitely better than a stock box, but also I was able to hit a lot more lower notes and I was able to play them lower notes louder because with the stock enclosure, really anything under 30 Hertz is going to make this subwoofer struggle and it's practically non-existent because to even be able to play under 30 Hertz, the volume has to be so low so it doesn't distort, but also even playing in the lower 30s isn't the best experience but with the custom enclosure it definitely helped it out as now i was actually able to get all the way down to 26 hertz and still being at a decent volume and it didn't sound half bad for what it is in the actual size of the subwoofer itself but also around that 40 to 50 hertz region the subwoofer doesn't get as loud around that area at least compared to the stock box but i'll take that because down in the lower 30s and the higher 20s those frequencies were actually boosted so the custom enclosure definitely helped out with flattening that response and i think it's definitely better for that sound quality performance now the box definitely is big Bigger, but overall it definitely helped out this subwoofer and just made it a little bit more impactful in my opinion now this doesn't just go for cheap subwoofers this goes for any subwoofer because a lot of cheaper subwoofers like the logitech or even car audio subwoofers that come with a prefab box they're most likely not going to be able to go that low because a lot of cheap subwoofers with cheap boxes they're usually going to be tuned pretty high or it might even be too small of a box to begin with so a custom subwoofer enclosure would definitely help out your subwoofer as you can build the most optimal enclosure for your subwoofer and you can make it perform the best just depending on what you listen to so if you have a subwoofer and you're not really happy with the sound of your subwoofer then maybe you should consider building a custom box for it if you guys want me to show you how to build a custom subwoofer box please leave a comment down below letting me know if you guys want to see that i appreciate all y'all for watching and i'll see you on the next video